Hi everyone, it's Cindy from Lizard Learning. I have some exciting Christmas games that I want to quickly run through um, to save teachers time over the lead up to Christmas. So we have um, five games. They're only $5 over at the Lizard Learning shop. So the first one, and I'm just going to read them, it's a lot easier and I would hate to leave anything out because um, I would get into a lot of trouble from Sue. <laughs> so um, match the synonyms. Um, you'll need two players, one playing card and two sets of different coloured counters. So basically the kids, um, they take turns to cover matching synonyms with their own coloured counters. So let's say they will find sled and sleigh, chilly and cold, fun and where is fun? Joy. So once they've got their counters all on there and they've made one complete line, then they are the winner. And it also works the player with the longest line of counters, but even around a corner. So that's okay that they can go around a corner. Um, they are still, uh, they'll be the winner. The next one is Christmas Word Maker. Uh, you will need two um, or two or more players. So that suits the classroom. As I say, we are all teachers here at Lizard Learning, so we never produce anything that um, doesn't work in the classroom or hasn't been tried and tested by one of us. So a playing board, Sue has suggested that you blow it up to an A3 and that'll just give the kids lots of room to be able to move around um, if they're on the floor. One dice, a marker for each player and um, some counters. So each player begins at the start up in the corner, uh, rolls the die and moves the number of places. If the player can create a word using one of the letter groups on the Christmas stocking, they cover that stocking with a counter. That stocking cannot be used again and if no word can be made, then the next player can have a go. The player who covers the most stockings is the winner. Alphabet cover up. So very simple. So um, two to four players, one playing board, a three, coloured counters for each player. So the all players place their markers on the first letter of their name. So I would place mine on C. The first player rolls the dice and moves that number of places to land on a letter of the alphabet. So let's say I roll uh, a two, I would land on E and I would have to come up with a Christmas word. Let's say elf. Um, and if the player can say a Christmas related word, just like I did, beginning with that letter, they cover the letter with their own colored counter. If not, the next player then just has a go. So continue around the board, taking turns until as many players, until as many as possible letters are covered. The winner is the player with the most alphabet letters covered. So this is a really cool activity for any grade really and any year level to do. Now this is my absolute favourite. You're on a winner here Sue. Um, this is going to create so many laughs in the classroom. So sing that song. You need two to four players, one dice, markers for each player and 30 counters. Each player decides on their starting star. Now you roll the die and move around the board. Now if you stop on a Christmas song, you must sing the first two lines of that song. So I'm going to do, well it's probably maybe more than two lines, but jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh what fun it is to ride in a one horse off and say, hey. So uh, the kids cannot, so if that was me, well then, um, and if the children thought that I was successful, I would then put a counter of one of your songsters. So um, there's probably possibly might be some little arguments here about what's a one-liner and a two-liner or a three, four, five. Um, but I definitely covered it with my rendition. So the same Christmas song can be sung more than once by any player. The winner is the first to cover all um, their seven songsters. So an absolute ton of fun in the classroom over that one. And the last one is the Christmas question game. Two to four players, one playing board, one die and four markers. So we've got the question cards um, after this. Place the question cards in the center with the questions facing down, so that's there. Each player chooses a Christmas animal and they put a marker on their starting corner. The 
uh, to play, roll the die and move the marker. If you land on a question mark, select the question card and read out loud to other players. If the player can answer correctly, the card is placed on top of the player's animal in the centre of the board. However, if incorrectly answered, the card is returned to the bottom of the pack and the next player will just roll um, the dice. Continue around the board until all the questions have been answered and the winner is the player who collects the most question cards. So this is um, the questions that they have to answer and these are your question mark cards. So I hope that's been helpful. Um, I want you to also think about resting up and some relaxation over report card time. I know it's pretty stressful at the moment. You're probably not even looking at um, Christmas activities just yet. But if you do, you know, we have everything over in the shop at lizardlearning.com backslash products or um, just put in Lizard Learning Christmas Games and all of those games will come up. So they're only $5. That is $1 a Christmas game. Um, so don't be a cheapskate. Head on over to the shop and have some fun this Christmas with your kids. See you later.